If you are an Instagram user, chances are you've seen this new feature in your search bar, Meta AI. Meta AI functions like ChatGBT and is currently the most powerful free AI chat tool on the market. And we're here to tell you this feature is just a glimpse into the broader race amongst the text giant. What race, Caleb? What are you talking about? The race to be the world's AI personal assistant. So today's video, we're going to be explaining why Google, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, Apple, and OpenAI are all in the same race. And it comes down to one thing, money. So starting with Apple, who makes most of their revenue from devices, which incentivizes them to build great experiences. But the problem with great experiences is that improvements are often seen as incremental and less impactful for the end customer. Meaning it's difficult to see the direct ROI of innovation when you're already ahead. What about Google? They make most of their revenue from advertising, which incentivizes them to get you to spend more time on their products so they can show you more ads. But going after AI personal assistant market is really a direct cannibalism of their current revenue sources. If people rely on AI to give them answers instead of clicking on advertising links, they must tread carefully. What about Microsoft and Amazon? Both are quite diversified. Microsoft makes meaningful revenue from cloud services. Microsoft has Microsoft Office, devices, Amazon on the other side. They have e-commerce, cloud services. But the upside to being your personal AI assistant isn't as meaningful in these categories as it is in advertising. Meta, now here is where things get interesting. Meta makes an even higher percentage of their revenue from advertising, but without the baggage of chat disrupting search that's holding Google back. For Meta, it's nearly all upside, especially if you're using their AI assistant because you spend more time on their products. And OpenAI even makes it more interesting, guys. OpenAI, while not traditionally a commercial giant like Google or Meta, they bring a unique angle to this race. ChatGPT directly competes for user attention and data, which are critical for training AI models and for advertising business models. So who will win? Look, we expect this race to continue to see massive investments across the board, giving this how potentially lucrative it is. The world's AI personal assistant will be more personalized than anything we've ever seen before. It just won't have your data. It will understand you. It will be like her from that movie. It won't just show you ads. It'll be able to make purchasing decisions. It won't just recommend content. It'll be able to make content for you. But we think Meta might end up being the surprise winner here, largely because the strategies are directly aligned with the evolving needs of the world AI personal assistant. So whether you're a business owner, a content creator, a marketer, or you want to be one of those in the future, you'll want to position yourself to be an early or whatever Meta's AI ecosystem looks like an early adopter. Not just their AI model, but their AI product just to give you a sneak peek. We already have Meta AI integrated in Instagram. AI influencers are taking over Instagram. Zuckerberg hinted at future plans to give content create ways to leverage AI at scale. And of course, Meta is already using AI to make it even easier for businesses to spend money on advertising. But who do you guys think is going to win this race? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like the tech insights, hit that like button, subscribe, punch that notification bell for more content. Tech out.